Hey, my name is Seb, and after you've watched this exclusive tutorial, you will know exactly how to use envelopes on your synthesizer. And before we begin, take a second to click the subscribe button and notification bell right now, else you may forget and miss out on all the unique content I'm planning to share. And when you've done that, let's dive in. When you look in your synthesizer, you will see a gazillion knobs and settings. Like most people, you may get completely overwhelmed. Now you have to spend weeks to figure out what the heck they mean and how they work. Because if you don't, your sound simply end up being a total disaster. That's why to help you understand your synthesizer as fast as possible, I decided to create this unique short course and share it with you. Thereby make sure to watch it to the very end so you can instantly take advantage of some of the sound design basics, which for today is using envelopes. Now to keep it short, we'll save the other major segments such as oscillators, filters and LFOs for another time. Now as you can understand, in a brief video it's impossible to go into full depth, but if you want to benefit from more valuable details and strategies, you can start now with the sound design for beginners guide. This well received guide will take you step by step to all the essential synthesizer settings including oscillators, filters, envelopes and LFOs. I'll put a link in the description below, just click it and you can begin straight away. Now one of the important topics the sound design for beginners guide explains is envelopes. Envelopes are on the menu of today's video as well, but what are they? An envelope is a function on a synthesizer where you can create sound movements. The movement can take many shapes or forms depending on your design. And thereby you can create different types of movements such as volume movement, panning movement, pitch movement or filter movement. But also you can determine when the movement should happen and how extreme the movement should be. So for example you could use a volume envelope to give your sound a quick fade in and fade out. Or you could use a pitch envelope to slightly move up the tone of your sound. This way you can set your sound in motion very flexibly depending on the effect you wish to produce. Now envelopes also play a big role in my own sound design, as you may have heard in my other tutorials or free sample pack. But if you haven't yet, use the link in the description to download my sample pack straight away. And after downloading, open it and listen closely to the sounds, especially many of the screeches, you can very easily spot a variety of nasty sound movements. Now let's find out how you can make your own sound movements, and for demonstration purposes, we will briefly talk about each individual envelope setting on the Silent One synthesizer. However, feel free to use your own favorite synth, but mind you, the way synthesizer presents these settings may be different for each, but most will have a similar functionality. Alright, enough talk, let's get into it. How to use envelope targets. An envelope target, also called destination, defines the sound movement. It dictates which knob has to move, so by setting the target, you choose upfront which type of movement you wish to create. There are usually many targets to choose from, but the most common ones are volume, panning, pitch, filter cutoff and filter resonance. Again, if you don't have the basic understanding about volume, panning, pitch and filters, start with the sound design for beginners guide first, and use the link in the description. So in order to make a sound movement, you always must select a target. Thereby, if you want to create a volume movement, select volume. If you want to have a pitch movement, select pitch. And so on, so let me quickly demonstrate that. Now, selecting your target on itself doesn't create a movement, thus you won't notice any effect. That's why, to set your sound in motion, we have to use the other envelope options. So, pay close attention and don't miss these. How to use envelope amount. Now, on most envelopes you'll find an amount setting. The amount controls the intensity of the movement, it dictates how extreme the movement occurs. So this way, a higher amount results in a stronger movement, and a lower amount results in a weaker movement. So the more you open up this knob, the higher the intensity. Though usually you will find the envelope amount knob going in two directions, whereby the center represents a zero value, which means no movement. And by choosing between left or right, you dictate in which way the movement occurs. And this way, the behavior of the envelope will completely invert if you move the parameter to the opposite side. So the orientation of the envelope amount sets the direction for the movement. I guarantee you it's much easier than it sounds. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to make a pitch movement, therefore you carefully select pitch as the target and you open the envelope amount to the right. So perfect, the tone of your sound moves up. 
However, instead of choosing right, you now orientate the envelope amount to the left. And can you guess what will happen? That's right, the tone of your sound suddenly moves down. The movement has been inverted. And to make it even more clear, let me show you this immediately. But before I do that, please take a second to click the share button below this video, because many people really need this information. And sharing is the absolute best way to reach them. So please take a second and hit that share button right now. Now, let's see the envelope amount in action. Mind you though, in order to shape the movement, we also have to tweak the ADSR settings, which we will explore next. So stay with me for a few more minutes. How to use ADSR envelopes. So what the hell are ADSR envelopes? ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain and Release. The Attack, Decay, Sustain and Release control how and when the movement occurs. So they set the shape and timing of the movement. With the ADSR envelopes, you can control the beginning, middle and end of the movement. And each will affect your sound in a different moment in time and in a different way. So this way you have surgical precision to create the movement exactly how you intend. So how does each of the ADSR envelopes work? Uh, let me give you a very quick summary. The attack deals with the start of the movement. It controls the time it takes to reach the maximum amount. That is of course at the moment you start playing your sound. The decay then takes over and deals with the start and middle of the movement. It controls the time it takes to go from the maximum amount to the sustain amount. The sustain deals with the middle and end of the movement and it controls the amount the sound stays at until you stop playing your sound. Finally, when you stop playing your sound, the release will take over and deal with the end of the movement. It controls the time it takes to reach the minimum amount, which is zero. I know examples speak louder than words, so here's one for you. Now let's say you want to make an intense volume envelope. Therefore you select volume as the target and fully open the envelope amount. So all set, you are now ready to define the shape and timing of the movement. Now first the attack, you set it to one second and this produces a fade in sound that takes one second to reach maximum loudness. Then the decay, you set it to one second as well and this produces a gradual one second volume drop to the loudness set by the sustain. So next is the sustain, you set it to 50% and this produces a volume level of 50% as long as you're playing the sound. And finally the release, you set it to 1 second again and this produces a fade out sound that takes 1 second to reach absolute silence. That is at the moment you stop playing the sound. So the sound fades in, then fades halfway out and stays at that level until it fades out completely when you stop playing the sound. And let me demonstrate that right now. Of course, this example uses a volume envelope, but it works exactly the same with any of the other types. So I hope it all makes sense to you, but if you have difficulties following it, no worries. Let me just show it to you and you will understand this in no time. Thereby I'm going to play around with the ADSR envelopes but also with some different targets and amounts.
As you can see, it's really cool what you can do with envelopes and you now know exactly how they work. And we have covered all the essential settings, which includes the envelope target, envelope amount and the ADSR envelopes. Nonetheless, if you want to benefit from going into way more depth, click the link in the description below and start now with the complete sound design for beginners guide. I'll show you in full detail how to use envelopes, but you will also learn how to use oscillators, filters and elevos. Many people already have their copy, but if you don't, go ahead, click the link and I'll see you there.